So to understand the basics of this switch and how it works, we're gonna go like this. So, switches are either normally open or normally closed, which means in their resting state, they have either an open circuit like this or a closed circuit. So what does that mean? Well, if it's an open circuit and electricity is trying to come along, it can't get through because it's open, right? So if it's closed, then electricity can continue on. And these switches here are connected, if I can not mess this up, are connected to, we'll say a task or a chore. So this might be to um, uh, run the panel, run panel. This might be for the light. This will be for something else, right? So. When the door to the microwave is open, you can't run the panel. You can't turn on the microwave and start using the microwave because this switch is connected to the power that runs the microwave. So it is designed to be open when the door to the microwave is open. However, you'll notice when you do open the door to the microwave, the interior light goes on, right? So this switch then closes when the door is open, activating the interior light. Of course, when you close the microwave door, then it's an open switch again. This one down here is a secondary switch, it's called. So there's three of them, and this is a secondary switch. It's essentially a backup. And this one has to be, this one follows the first one, the primary. So these are kind of mirror of one another. So if that one's open, this one's open. If that one's closed, this one's closed. So they're got to be on the same page for it to all run together. With that being said, you can't run the panel with the door open, but the internal light goes, uh, the, when it's turned on, scratch that, reverse it. The light only goes on when the door is open. So it is closed when the door is open. And these two switches are open. In reverse, if you close the door and close these two switches, this switch becomes open. So these, the things that are controlled by these switches run when the door is closed and the light on the inside of the microwave is controlled when the door is open. Does that make sense? Anyways, very simple, very basic, but I like to understand how things work. Now let me show you what those switches actually look like and show you on a meter what they sound like. So here are the switches. You probably can't read, but it says there's a little line. I'll see if I can put a graphic on there. But it says COM right here, which is your common wire. And then there's a little little line that goes up and it says NC, which means it's normally closed. Or a little line down here that says NO, which means it's normally open. So those are the different kinds of switches. Now you'll notice these switches are essentially identical apart from one thing, which is what? Exactly. This one's got a black button. This one has a red button. So that's how you know which one is which. Let me demonstrate. Here, we have our multimeter. We're gonna turn it to ohms, which is gonna short continuity, and volume, so it makes a beep. So it's very basic reading. It either has continuity or it doesn't. That's all you're looking. That's all we're gonna do when it goes to volume here. Some um, multimeters are fancy and they can do a whole bunch of other stuff. I mean, this one has different features, but on this particular setting, on this multimeter, it either tells you you have continuity, meaning that you can have uh, electricity circulate, or you can't, and that will give you the outside the lines or outside the limit 
of the multimeter. Now, one thing you always have to do is test your test equipment. So I have probes that are connected. It's rat's nest is what I have. So I have the two probes. You have your positive and your negative, your blacks, black and red connected down here. And then I just have banana clips connected to them with our green being positive, yellow being negative. And that's just for ease of use. So if we touch these together, we should have continuity and it should be. See? So the green light means success. You have continuity. So electricity can run through that circuit. When they're apart, obviously, the electricity can't get through. So it's outside the limit, meaning it doesn't read anything. You close that, now you're within the limits, okay? So we're gonna take this first one. We're gonna attach one clip here and one clip there. And right away, we're showing that it has continuity. Now watch what happens when I press the button. So it opens. So this particular switch when the door is closed to the microwave, pushing that button down is a normally open switch, right? So this would go for the light because with the door closed, which is what pushes the button down on the switch, it turns the light off, or in other words, it cuts power to the light. When you open the door, it takes off from the button opening the button which closes the circuit allowing the light to go on. In reverse, the one with the red button doesn't do anything when you first close it until, so right now if the door was open, you'd have an open switch. No power is going through it. When you close the microwave door and it hits the button, now you have power running through it. Now you can run the front panel. You can put in your minute, two minutes, get your popcorn. Don't burn your popcorn. It's always a catastrophe, especially at work, etc. So, closed circuit. When the door to the microwave is closed, when it opens, it's an open circuit. The exact opposite of this, which is why they're marked with the red and the black. Now, Something I want to explain real quick. When you buy stuff from the internet, there's a lot of fakes, there's a lot of cheap stuff out there. So you need to be aware of this. So I bought some switches that are supposed to be normally closed, meaning when they're activated, right? When they're actually actuated is the correct term. That's their normal state, it should be closed. So when I hook up my banana clips, I should get tone. And I don't. When I let it go, I do get tone. So these, that came two in a pack, are both the reverse of what they're supposed to be. Now, these are the new ones I bought. You see the, the, they're all clean and shiny, right? Watch this. Here's the one that I pulled from the microwave. See how the contacts are all dirty? So watch what happens when I connect this one. See, when the door is closed, it has a closed circuit. When you leave it open, it's an open circuit. So hopefully that makes sense. I'm going to have to send those back um, just because that's what happens. It's a fluke. But that's just one of the things you got to be aware of when you're buying stuff from the Internet. Sometimes you want to test it, make sure it's working right, and uh, we'll go from there. All right.